Hey, what's up guys, Sir Eminon here, and welcome to another feature match commentary on the channel today. So this is going to be another top 16 match by online, dis or online Discord tournament. Uh, we're just going to keep going down the bracket here, and it's going to be between Burrito Man 93 on Drytron versus Sinindo on Dogmatic and Mutant. So as usual guys, if you do want to go ahead and sign up for the next tournament whenever that happens to be, if Konami ever drops a analyst, uh, feel free to check out the Discord link in the description box below. But let's go and get started with this matchup here without any further ado. So it looks like Drytron is going to take the RPS win here, and he's going to choose to go first. Uh, very, very shocking, I know. Uh, the opening hand for Drytron is going to be Benten, Double Nova, Emergency, and Delta. So three Drytron names in Benten, pretty much exactly where you want to be, apart from maybe some hand trap insurance, but um, I mean, this is pretty good already. And then the opening hand for Dogmatic and Mutant is going to be Fleur-de-Lis, Expansion, Nadir Servant, Mutant Beast, and ST46. So I'm not going to lie to you, I have no idea what this deck is capable of doing going second without hand traps, but I'm not really convinced it can be a dry trap board with uh, a billion negates, so we'll see if that ends up being the case. So he's going to activate Nova, that's going to summon out Alpha from deck, and then going to link that away for a copy of Link Rebo, and then he's going to activate uh, Alpha, tributing away Benton, that's going to allow him to grab a search for a copy of Benton, and then Benton and Grave Triggers for a copy of Orange Light, and then from here, going to activate Cyber Emergency, that's going to grab Zeta, and then going to activate Zeta, tribute away Benten, gonna summon itself, grab Medionis, and then Benten effect triggers for Manju. And then going to normal summon Manju, use the effect to grab a copy of Herald of Ultimateness. And then going to link those away for a copy of Union Carrier, uh, use Carrier effect to equip to itself a copy of Dawn Knight. And then gonna activate Medionis, that's gonna tribute away Carrier, to summon out Benten from uh, Graveyard. And then Dawn Knight gonna send a copy of Gamma, and then Medionis adds self back. We've all seen this play. Uh, Delta, Shoot away Benten, reveal ultimateness to draw, it looks like a copy of Prep, oh, that's not bad. Uh, gonna go and search for Ava off Benten, and then going to activate Medionis, going to summon out ultimateness, and then gonna Prep for Benten, and then I back Medionis as well, and then can go for Gamma here too, a Gamma Tribute Benten, summon itself, and another Drytron name, and then Benten search Orange Light, and then can make Appaloosa or IP, looks like he's going for IP. And then gonna pass. So this is upwards of five interruptions. Very, very fun game. <laughs> gonna activate or draw a pot of prosperity for turn. Uh, gonna normal summon the SC46. So we're gonna try. Uh, SC46 effect is gonna activate, uh, gonna chain ultimateness. And then gonna activate prosperity. That's gonna banish six. Gonna negate that with ultimateness as well. And then Ava triggers, banishing two. That's gonna grab Petite Angel and the last copy of Orange Light. And then going to activate a new servant, negate that. Gonna activate Fleur de Lis, negate that. <laughs> and gonna set expansion and then end phase or end of main phase. Uh, gonna use uh, the Masquerina for Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix effect is gonna pitch Medionis to pop and then draw emergency and then pass. Uh, he's gonna draw Joel Lockbird for turn. Gonna Nova, summon out Alpha, and then you can just literally make Sword, and that's already game. Yeah, make sword, switch her to attack, and then that is the end of game one. That went uh, that went as about as expected as it could have, honestly. <laughs> really nothing to unpack from that one. Gonna move to game two here, so Dogmatic Mutant is gonna start things off. Uh, if you guys are enjoying this video, definitely be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more commentary similar to this style. Um, I didn't watch any of these top cut matches again because I don't like to spoil myself for the top cut at least. Uh, hopefully there's a little bit of interaction here. Uh, the opening hand for Mutant going first this time around is going to be Mutant Cry, which is their uh, fusion spell, or fusion trap rather. Uh, Solemn Judgment, Dynamiscus, Joel Lockbird, and Trap Trick. So, four traps going first seems pretty good, and Joel. Uh, the top deck for uh, Drytron going second is going to be Ghost Spell, Prep, Red Reboot, Benten, and Ava. So, he actually has Red Reboot, the one for the four traps, uh, but he does have Judgment, and also the sand contains no Drytrons. So it's not looking too bad. Granted, I don't really know if this hand has a an engine going, apart from like maybe trap trick for punishment. So we'll see. Right, he's gonna go and set four pass. Uh, top deck is a copy of Alpha. Oh, that's one of the best top decks that could have happened there. So he's gonna activate Alpha, tribute away Benten, gonna summon itself, search for another Benten, and then the Benten and Grave triggers for his search. Uh, but gonna chain Joel Lockbird to that. Definitely pretty good. Normal summon Ava, then try and overlay for a copy of Assembled a Nightingale. And then going to go to battle phase. Gonna attack for 800. Excuse me. Uh, and then go for main phase 2, make downard. And then he's gonna have to be thinking here. So he's going to activate Trap Trick. Probably for punishment. 
He's going to let that resolve. Yeah, he's going to go for punishment, and then he's going to activate punishment. He's going to chain, probably reboot, and then he can't judgment that because he's under trap trick. Oh, I see where this is going. Yeah, chain red reboot to punishment, and then going to set Sanctum, uh, and then going to go for Zeus. Does this trigger off of Zeus? No, it has to be destroyed. All right, so yeah. Imagine if it did, that would be pretty cool. But yeah, gonna send the entire board and then draw Maximus for turn. That is a very bad draw. Uh, probably just gonna pass. Yeah, draw Zeta for turn. Okay, so there really was not any interaction at all this match. Unfortunate. Uh, he's gonna switch Zeus to attack position and then go Zeta, tribute away Benten, summon itself, grab a copy of Medionis, uh, and then Benten search. Uh, and then gonna normal summon Manju, use the effect, grab Benten. And then going to link for a copy of Union Carrier. Uh, carrier gun equipped to itself, copy of Don Knight. Then go Medionis for Benten. And then Don Knight, send Gamma. And then prep to add Atasha. This is uh, very, very much the end of the game. <laughs> uh, Gamma gonna shoot away Benten, summon itself, and Zeta. Benten grab Orange Light. And then going to link for a copy of Link Rebo. And then go to Battle Phase. That is notably not game. Um. Huh. I feel like there definitely had to be a line to make game there, but I'm not going to bother trying to go through because uh, it's going to be hard to beat Zeus plus uh, Orange Light plus Bell with like two cards. Uh, draws Judgment for turn, and that is going to be the end of the match. So a very quick 2-0 on the part of Drytron. Uh, there really was not much to say about this one. Uh, it really was just Drytron going first and comboing, and then Mutant not drawing anything going first and then losing. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like as well as any thoughts or feedback in the comments. Subscribe for more formative and competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! content. If you want to, you can follow me on all social media platforms or support me with the links in the description as usual. And until next time, I'll catch you in the next video. See you guys!